Today I'm going to show you how to do the thing that I do on almost every image that I shoot. I'm going to teach you how to paint with light in Capture One. Be sure and check out my podcast. It's called Photobomb. It's available anywhere that podcasts are found, and I guarantee you will enjoy it. Also, join my group on Facebook, Pro Photo Talk with Bure Perry. It's a fantastic community and a great place for you to get answers to your questions. And of course, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button because that helps to keep this channel alive. Before we get started, let me point you to another video. If you don't understand all of the brush settings, the adjustment brush settings here, if you don't understand what hardness and opacity and flow do and how they affect what you're doing with your canvas, you really need to understand that because it's like the building blocks of using Capture One. So I'm gonna put a link right up here to a video I made where I explain in detail how each one of these sliders affects what you're doing. Go watch that and it's gonna make things a whole lot easier for you uh, down the line. At the end of that video, I actually paint with light, uh, just like I'm gonna do in this video. All right, so here's how I like to paint with light. Let's say we've got a picture here. Here I am and it's a little bit dark. There's a lot of options I've got here. I can just grab the exposure slider and I can just bring it up to right about there. That's probably a good exposure. But it also brings up everything. And what if I don't want to bring up everything? Well, another option I have is that I could just create a mask on my face, like a full mask, mask my whole face out, and then just bring up my face. But that, again, is not going to be very subtle, right? It's going to be everything's going to be affected the same. And what I want to do like an artist, is I want to be able to just go in with a, with a pen or with my mouse and just gradually put in light exactly where I want it to go. It's fun, to be honest. <laughs> it makes you feel a little bit like, uh, like you're painting or at the very least that, uh, that you're coloring. Uh, so here's how I do it. First, this is how I set up my brush. My size, I usually want the size of my brush starting out, if I'm doing my whole face, to be about, about the size of my forehead. I want to be able to go top to bottom of my forehead, right about there. My hardness is at zero because I want it to fall off a lot. I want a long feather coming off of my brush so that you don't get hard edges around the light. My opacity is at 100% so that whatever I've got my setting set to, I will put 100% of that setting on the canvas if I paint long enough. That's the key. And then the flow is all the way down at two because I want to be able to put 100% on the canvas, but only 2% at a time. All right, so here we go. That's my brush. Then I create a new adjustment layer, and we're going to name this Light. And we're going to turn up the exposure about one stop. 98, that's close enough. So now, when I push down the trigger on my mouse and I start to paint, Everywhere I paint, it's going to put about 2% of that light, that one stop, onto my face. And if I paint over and over and over again, it's just going to keep compounding it on top of that spot. So I just hold down my mouse and I start to paint. So I'm just painting around and it's just a subtle 2% that's being added. And more and more and more is being laid on the more I do it. And here it is. So we're putting 2% on. And it's so subtle you may not even notice it. All right, so there it is. Now. Let's go back here and turn it off. See it now? See, it's just a subtle little, just bringing up the light where I want it to be. Now we can also pinpoint specific areas that we want to pinpoint using this technique. So if you look at my eyes here, you'll see that I have these giant Cro-Magnon ridges uh, for eyes. And as a result, I always get shadows underneath my eyes right here. I want to take those up. So let's take our brush down to a little bit smaller brush. And then we're just going to paint in right there, right above my eyes. We're going to paint that in. And we're just bringing up that little part. And if you look at the mask, you can see, right, here's my mask. And you can see that I put a lot more here, a lot more light here. Anywhere that is red, that's more light that's coming through. <clears throat> Not so much light down here. So there's my face painted with the light. The great thing is you can also paint with dark. So I'll create a new layer, and I will call this layer Dark. And this time, I'll take the exposure down by a stop. And now any place I paint, it's going to start to get darker. So when I look at this image, I'm going to make my brush a little bigger. And I look over here, and I say, hmm, this is kind of a bright spot on my, uh, on my neck here. Let me bring that down a little bit. And this ear is a little bright. I'm going to bring this 
ear down just a little bit. And if I just wanted to have more of a pop to my face, I could bring down the edges of my face a little bit, put them into a little bit more shadow like that. And it's very subtle, but here's the before and here's the after. See the differences that makes? So here was my original image right here. And then I use my light brush to bring up some areas and my dark brush to take down some areas. And you have a different image now. And it's fun and it's very subtle and you can really pinpoint what you want to do. All right, I hope that this helps. I hope you use this technique and thanks for watching.